I know you guys have been reading about this. Another Hollywood couple officially over. It was a lightning fast divorce agreement for Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. Less than two weeks after Holmes filed for divorce, the legal teams for both stars reached an agreement over the weekend. No details are being released, but the former couple say that they want to work together in their daughter Suri's best interest. And they released a joint statement yesterday saying, in part, we want to express our respect for each other's commitment to each of our respective beliefs and support each other's roles as parents. Now, there was certainly a lot of speculation uh, at the start of that relationship. Rumors that Tom was maybe very controlling and that his religion, Scientology, may have come between them. That statement almost sort of suggests that. Many tabloids uh, portrayed Katie as wanting to escape his control. So here to give us a little bit of insight is George James Jr., a licensed marriage and family therapist from the Council for Relationships. And we talked about, I love the Council for Relationships. You, guys, <laughs> you have so many resources there. Thank you. Um, you know, yeah, there was a lot of talk about whether or not Scientology played a role and whatever you think about Scientology when you have religious differences it can have a huge impact on a marriage something that a lot of people don't necessarily think about when they're dating yeah you know I've seen it with some of my couples uh, that come into my office is that it is a struggle it can be very difficult but it is possible many people work through their religious beliefs and are able to have great fantastic relationships so what are some of the I guess the bumps or the the the, the, the bombs that you have to avoid well one of the things that I've seen is the fantasy versus reality mm -hmm. in the beginning and we're all in love, we're happy, and we think that love will conquer everything. We see the red flags, we know that there's a difference, but we say, oh, it will work out. Mm -hmm. And that's the fantasy. The reality is we need to talk about this right now and talk about it throughout our relationship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the fantasy, maybe even with the whole Tomcat situation, is that, oh, he's passionate. The reality is right. maybe he's a little controlling right. and that we need to think about that ahead of time before we move forward. Yeah, and you know, I was saying to you that um, I grew up Catholic mm -hmm. and I never really sort of thought about religion and religious differences until I had my daughter. Right. And suddenly I had to make decisions about what I wanted for her future. And it was a conversation that my husband and myself, we'd never really talked yeah. about. You know, for most people, faith beliefs and their decisions around faith in their family come out with children. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is our faith is really connected to our family. That's how we stay loyal. If we grew up Christian, there's a strong chance we're gonna, we're gonna be Christian. Mm -hmm. Or whatever way that we grew up, we try to stay loyal. Now, if our partner's different, that's where the struggle becomes, where I don't want to give up what I've learned mm -hmm. and neither does my partner. And that's where it can be difficult. Can you have a strong marriage with two people who are committed to two different faiths is it doable absolutely one of the things that I've seen and worked with people to do is to communicate it means having difficult conversations over and over <laughs> and over until right. you get to some common ground and able to work through it right uh, yeah they always talk about religion and politics these are the things that you're taught right. are uncomfortable to talk about but, but I mean if you don't talk and it's I suppose no, no matter what area of your relationship right. if you don't talk you're in trouble right and that's exactly what they'll have to still do now because they have to find a common ground because no matter what they still have their beliefs and they're gonna go their own way and the only way to work it out is to keep having conversations and to be able to respect each other's differences. Indeed. Thank you, George, especially because they have a child. So, you know, yeah. you don't want to fight anymore. Yeah. Thank you so much, George. For Thank more you. on the oh, over here for more on the Council for Relationships, go to CBSPhilly.com and click on Talk Philly.